Here's a question, parents. Do you really know what your kid is watching on TV or looking at on the Internet? There's a website called Common Sense Media, which provides reviews and ratings for all kinds of platforms. Christine Swanson has some advice for us in today's Kidsburg Report. Lots of parents, including myself, use the Common Sense Media website anytime we're not sure whether a certain movie, app, game, or TV show is appropriate for certain kids. But the site has a whole lot more information to help parents and kids and does a lot more in our community than many people even know. Hey, could you do me a favor? Hold on to that. Whether it's old school media like movies, TV shows, and music, or new school technology like computers, iPads, and phones, it's impossible for parents to stay on top of the ever changing media landscape. That's where common sense helps. We hope that this will be a trustworthy space that we offer unbiased reviews and give advice so at the end of the day it's really up to the parent to make those final, final decisions. Jennifer E. Halt is Pittsburgh's common sense manager. She works primarily with educators about positive ways to use technology in the classroom. A mom herself, she explains that for parents, the common sense media site reviews everything from movies to apps to TV shows with a five star rating scale and age recommendation. We look at the learning potential that that particular piece of media has and we also take a look at the age range and so making sure that appropriate content is being delivered to the appropriate ages. You'll also find a story synopsis, the amount of violence, drinking and drugs, sex and positive messages and role models and even topics to talk to your kids about after it's over. We also have some questions that you can ask on the way home. So you sat through the movie. Hey, parents, here are some talking points to discuss with your child after you saw the movie. In addition to the reviews, the site has articles and videos on media topics like setting limits, sexting, and new websites and social media popular with kids, tweens, and teens. Common Sense also has a device-free dinner movement they encourage everyone to join. We, I think, as adults need to start to model what does this look like and, you know, when is it appropriate and not appropriate to have your phone, your tablet out. Um, I always say, try to just be present. You can see all that Common Sense has to offer on their free website. We have a link on our website and on kidsburg.org. With today's Kidsburg Report, I'm Christine Sorensen.